let's have a look at org capture so org capture is this amazing way of taking small notes while you are doing something so if you need to take some notes quickly you can utilize org capture to create your own like you can define some templates for that and you can create notes easily with that so if you use all text and you type org dash capture this will be the org capture inside this one we have this uh, predefined task so by default you have one template so this is built into emacs so if you hit t it's going to open up this uh, capture template which is defined so far i'm going to hit t so inside this they have predefined to do and uh, they have defined a date so if you need to type something over here this is just plain old file you can type like uh, control x control plus to increase the font you can do something like uh, plus and uh, org stuff something like that and you can hit control c and control c again to save this file or else you can hit uh, control c and control k to abort or control c and control w to refile so that's really up to you so for now i'm just going to cancel this so control x k to kill this one i don't want the capture buffer for now let's open up our configuration so i don't want to do an all text or capture always we are going to specify a key binding for that so control x control f and inside our dot emacs we are going to open up our configuration so for this setup i'm having this setup.el so if you're having init.el or config.org or something just open that file up then go to the bottom and here i have defined let's go down a bit okay so here i have defined a custom set variable i have defined a directory called org so let me open up my file browser so this is my like let me delete this so these are the things which i have done for this demonstration so this is like a directory i have created right like you can create a directory over here i just named it over here as org and i have specified the path home folder inside my home directory i have this directory called org so that's all i have done for this and i've closed that statement over here the next thing is i'm setting a key binding so global set key and keyboard i'm specifying the keyboard shortcut control c and c so if i hit uh, alt x i can see this org capture so instead of doing this always i can specify the key binding to use this so control c and c again you can see org capture comes up so by default you have only one template instead of this one you can have like uh, custom templates you can create your own templates so I'm just going to show you one and uh, i'm just going to show you some identifiers you can use along with that with that you can like create your own based on your idea so let me close that out now here i'm going to define a new template for my work capture so the first thing i would like to do is i would like to define what i'm doing so set q and org dash capture dash templates and i'm going to hit the return key or the enter key and i'm going to open up a single quote over here then two brackets now i can specify the key like uh, if i hit ctrl c and c again i'm sorry ctrl c and c again and see i have this key over here so if i hit t that is bound to task in org capture template so for the next one 
so if i write something over here this is going to be cleared so we are going to create something new over here so let me hit ctrl g to exit out of that the first one i would like to have is uh, something for taking snippets so s and the name which is going to be displayed over there so ctrl c and c so this is the name task is the name so for that i can type snippet over here so snippet and i'm closing that double quotes and this is the entry type so we are going to enter something so entry and hit return again or enter key now we are defining where we need to store this so open bracket again so we are going to use a file and for inside this file we are going to have a main heading so heading uh, headline i'm sorry main headline and i'm going to give a space and specify like inside double quotes i can specify the file name so the first one is file and the second one will be the headline so the file name will be like uh, my snippet uh, my snip.org and close that and a space and double quotes again and here i'm specifying the main title which is going to be inside uh, this org file which we are going to create so my snippets so that's done and uh, we can hit like we can close this statement and we can hit the return key so currently we have defined the file name and the main heading inside the template which we are going to open then we can use something like uh, if you need to have a subheading you need to have uh, some sort of uh, argument so since this is an org file i can specify a subheading with a star and space so the subheading will be like uh, snip or uh, can specify something like this note so that will be displayed inside this file as a subheading so you will understand this when i do the demo after creating this layout then i have options for uh, specifying what i'm going to put inside over here so i would like to have a new line after this notes so slash n that's an identifier and i'm going to use percentage and question mark so this percentage question mark specifies or uh, it tells emacs where to put this cursor so after this node subheading and a new line your cursor will be placed over there so that's how it's done so if i want i can close this now i can close uh, the brackets so one two and three so now it's done so if i hit ctrl x and ctrl s our configuration or our custom template is saved ctrl x ctrl e to execute this lines of code and if we do a ctrl c and c again we can see we have our custom defined template over here so if i hit s for snippet have this note as subheading so currently you are not seeing the main heading my snippets because uh, every time you do this this is going to show you only the subheading so i can type like uh, my initial capture note and if i need to save this file all i need to do is ctrl c and ctrl c so this will create 
this mysnip.org file inside our org directory so if i do a control x control f and if i navigate to org directory inside my home directory i have this uh, mysnip.org these are from previous like what i have done so let's delete that so mysnip.org if i open that up i have this main heading my snippets so let's split this into two windows so control x3 and uh, here i'm going to open up like control x k to kill this my snip over here and inside this one control x k kill this one control x control minus to reduce the font size so you can see the file name is mysnip.org over here and you can see the main heading my snippets you can see the subheading notes like note over here according to our definition and after this we get our like point over here and we started typing over here so we have our note over here so control c and c again so it's going to open up the snip this thing over here if i hit s again you can see we have this cursor under this because of the slash n which we have specified so control c and control k to abort this so that's how you define a template so while you are defining a template you have multiple options like uh, instead of this slash n and just this plain old question mark let me open up uh, another file so i have this file which i have created uh, one dot text so these are like some identifiers which you can use along with this so if you hit like percentage double question mark it's going to place your cursor so if you need something like an input prompt you do this so in this file if i do something like uh, instead of having something like this i can specify um, star and space if i do something like percentage and an upper arrow it's going to be like an option and i need to put this in curly brackets so you can have like multiple options if you want so control x control s to save this control x control e to execute that lines of code if i hit control c and c again we have snippet so if we hit s it's going to ask us this option or this prompt so here i can hit enter so it's going to open up the buffer and i can do something over here or i can say do like control c control k to close this control c and c s for snippet i can type something and hit enter so you have that over here and if i hit control c and control c again it's going to save that to my snip.org so if you need to have multiple entries all you need to do is uh, you have to specify this new layouts or new templates and you can use these identifiers so if you use percentage t it's going to insert uh, today's date if you hit percentage i it's going to capture something from selected region so let me show you that so after this if i hit percentage i and i have something like let me save this control x control s uh, and execute this so it's already executed and i'm just going to select this so if i hit control c and c again and if i hit s you can see the selected region is available over here so i should have uh, like if i hit enter over here you 
can see we have this over here so instead of this question like i can remove this i can do stuff like that i can organize this the way i want so if i hit ctrl c and ctrl c again it's going to save that so if i hit ctrl x ctrl f and if i open up my org directory and if i open up this nip.org you can see the contents of this file so likewise you can use all these parameters or identifiers inside your configuration you can have like uh, multiple options with this all you need to do is separate your options with the pipe symbol and you can have a new line with slash n you can have a single option with uh, this you can have today's date with uh, percentage t you can ask like you can let Emacs ask for a date with uh, this something like that so that's pretty much it about org capture templates so you can be creative and you can create on your own snippets your way so i hope this one was helpful and i hope you all have a wonderful day